So to create another standalone app to interact with the Helix, this one you can think of it as an auto off or any tweakable setting within the Helix. To start, you're going to want to make sure that you have an audio input and we're going to say the MIDI out is for Line 6 Helix. We're going to start with our first preset and we're going to add a simple pitch. So for this, I kind of want to give it a tape head sound where it's kind of wobbling a little bit. So we're going to change the sense parameter. Go into bypass controls, click sense, go down to MIDI CC, and we have CC4 selected. So we're going to enable that. We're going to give it a wave shape of sine. So our BPM is 30, our min value is at 0%, and our max value is at 100% and we can see this in action already. So let's change this interval down to zero and mix up to 100. And we can change that min and max value so it's a little more constricted you can see that it's not going down all the way down or all the way up. If we want to change the speed of it. Or even more drastic. You can already generally do most of this stuff already by using your expression pedal or programming it into your DAW, but I kind of find that this can be easier. Okay, let's listen to some other examples. Okay, so the different wave shapes are listed in the combo box, um, but here's an explanation of what's kind of going on with them. So the sine wave is pretty straightforward, just kind of rounded sine wave. Triangle is going to go down, up, down, up, and pretty straightforward from one point to the other. So it's going to go, saw up is going to go up, and then once it gets to the peak, it goes right to the lowest position and the saw down is the exact opposite. It goes down, and then once it gets to the minimum, it goes right up to the maximum. Square is either gonna be uh, the max position and then the min position. Um, and square with easing, once it switches to the min position, it's gonna ease to that position. Once it switches to the max, it's gonna ease into the max. Random is just going to be, it's kind of like the square, but set to random points between your min and max value. And with easing it, 
once it switches, it's going to ease into that position. And one of the things we want to pay attention to when we're changing anything inside the helix, generally you're going to want to pause this. On some patches, I think it overloads the helix in some ways for the UI, so it gets this interrupted signal thing down here. So we just pause it here, and then we can make our changes. And then when we're happy, we can unpause. Mm -hmm.